This video is about the implementation of a remote control using an Apple remote for a biogram for a thousand series turntable. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. Let's start with a brief demonstration of the remote control. This is a standard Apple remote that was adapted to drive this turntable. The Apple remote has this directional pad and the directional pad serves to cue the tone arm to the left and to the right and with the up and down functions we can both uh, lower and raise the tone arm. The central button serves as 33 RPM button that allows to turn on the platter for wiping. The play button serves to start the turntable and also to pause it during playback and the menu button serves to stop the turntable. Okay, let's see it in action. So we start out with the 33 RPM function for wiping the platter. And now start. And queuing forward. Queuing is dynamic, so if the finger stays on there for a couple seconds, the tone arm accelerates. So the start button allows to lower the tone arm again. And queuing backwards, same dynamic function. And finally stop. Let's have a quick look under the hood. These two pictures show the remote control board. This here is the top side and this is the back side. The remote control board plugs in directly into the uh, receptacle of the keyboard plug. The keyboard plug then goes into this female header on the top side of this board. So all the connections are directly fed through from the uh, male header to the female header. So this allows to retain full functionality of the keyboard while the Arduino can take over the functionality of the keyboard whenever it receives a signal via the 3638 IR receiver that is shown here. The board is powered from the 31 volt rail, so it doesn't need any other connectors than the 10 pins that are on the keyboard receptacle. Here you see the board installed. The board is directly plugged into the receptacle of the keyboard plug. The keyboard plug itself is now plugged into the female header that's on the board. Here at this end of the board you see the two voltage regulators that drop the 31 volts to the 5 volts that the microcontroller requires. Here you see the ISP port, the in-service programming port that allows to program the microcontroller. And this here is the flat band cable that goes to the infrared receiver. It feeds through a convenient gap in the metal reinforcement of the cabinet so one can push the cabinet back towards the enclosure of the turntable without being obstructed by this cable. And here you see the infrared receiver as it peeks out from underneath the cabinet. That is the only indication on the outside of the turntable that there is a remote control installed. This concludes my video about the remote control of a biogram for a thousand series turntable. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.